Greetings! I have now been growing my hair for three weeks and I look like an orange Q-tip. So many people have been asking me for an update on my life now that I've shaved my head and what it's like to live life as a bald woman that I decided that it's about time that I made another video. So here's a few things that have happened to me since I shaved my head. So right after I filmed my last video, I left for Boy Scout camp for a week and I had a few trepidations about what the more conservative scouts and adult leaders would think about my hair, but other than the occasional curiosity, it wasn't really mentioned much. But on the way to camp, uh, Matt and I stopped for dinner in a tiny little city called Sonora. And I mean tiny. Population 4,600. A typical conservative place. In fact, I saw several Confederate flags, even though we're in California. But anyway, Matt and I stopped to eat at a restaurant there, and we, while we were waiting to be seated, there was not five feet away from us, two young women and a young man, all around the age of 22. And the young women were staring at me and pointing at me and saying things like, Oh my god, look at her. Or should I say him? Or even worse, Oh my god, it looks like she has cancer. First of all, I know, but certainly don't agree that many conservative places don't necessarily approve of transgender people. But that gender comment was super wrong. But even worse, what if I did have cancer? What if my tiny little stubble was just my hair starting to grow back after I just conquered chemotherapy? Would they really make fun of a cancer patient? I was too flabbergasted to even be offended. And that poor guy with them was just going, Oh my god, she can hear you. Please shut up. I just laughed it off and walked away and left it to be pondered over later because I didn't really know how to respond in the moment. But. Not five minutes later, a woman came up to me at around 22 years old and told me that I was beautiful and that what I did was brave and awesome. So these two experiences, just two days after shaving my head, had really set the tone for the next three weeks of my life with a shaved head. It seems to me that most people, men and women alike, are totally okay with my decision. Many have even complimented me, including my little brother, who told our mom that it was the bravest thing I'd ever done. Thanks, Devin. That really means a lot to me. I'm amazed, though, at how many women of all different ages have told me that they wanted to do this, too. That they desire the freedom to spend almost zero time washing and fixing their hair every day. They want to get rid of the weight and feel the sun on their head, which I don't actually get to do very much because since I'm a ginger, I have to wear a hat. This is my life! All these women saying these things have made me feel really good about myself. Not all the responses have been super positive though. And this part is really hard for me to say in a way that isn't gender biased. And these are certainly not all inclusive judgments. Anyway, negative reactions to my hair do tend to be based on gender in some way. Ah, oh, it hurts me to say that! Women tend to judge my appearance, whereas men tend to disapprove of my decision. Both genders, though, immediately after addressing me, turn to Matt and ask him if he gave me his approval. I'm sure you're all wondering what he thinks about this, too. So here's Matt to tell his side of the story. Matt, he was just here a second ago, I swear. Hold on. Matt! Hey, so... I'd like to start by saying that I'm in support of Roe, whatever she does. I mean, whatever she does. The decision that she made, however, was something that I encouraged and facilitated throughout the process of her trying to make the decision, because I thought it was pretty clear that it was something that she would benefit from. I did not, however, state my own approval, or even the need for approval to exist. That's not how a relationship works. We support each other. We don't judge each other. The need for approval is a judgmental way to look at relationship interaction. For this reason, when People turn to me to check my approval after speaking to Laurel about her decision. I'm astounded. That's not what I'm there for. They should know I'm there to support her. She makes her decisions, not me. That's what being an adult is, after all. Hey. Hey. One more thing oh, that I wanted to say. Don't. It's I really no, it. no, no, I... <laughs> Alright, so one more thing I wanted to mention that's actually kind of funny. I have a pretty broad style in terms of clothing that I wear. Some days I like to wear cargo pants and a t-shirt. Like this! But the next day I might wear a dress with earrings. Like this! 
Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I almost never wear earrings. But even so, I like being able to have the freedom to wear whatever suits my mood and my purpose, which is a freedom that women have that men still don't. So, a few days ago, I was walking around San Luis Obispo getting a frappuccino, wearing a skirt, and people were staring at me with this look of just total confusion on their face. Eyes bouncing back and forth, skirt, hair, skirt, hair, skirt, hair. Does not compute. Written on their face. That never happens when I'm dressed in my awesome jeans or my uh, less stereotypically feminine attire. I suppose when I'm wearing pants, I still fit into a role that people have in their minds. People look at me and they think, lesbian, okay, nothing to see here, moving on. Which in itself is a step in the right direction for society, but it, it's still really limiting to people. But when I'm wearing a dress, I break out of that role, and so they don't have a role for me. But no matter what I wear, I'm just me. I'm not a lesbian, I mean you met Matt, right? But that doesn't even matter. Times are changing really quickly and people are starting to realize that people can't be put into neat little boxes. Boys over here, girls over here, and we're not all made out of ticky tacky and we're not all just the same. And that's awesome. Thanks for watching. Wait, one more thing. Come here, come here. Come here. Uh, okay, what? Okay. But do you like it? Yeah. Okay, cool.